Indiana is no stranger to earthquakes. As News Channel 18's Elizabeth Rentschler reports, several Lafayette schools participated in a statewide drill today to make sure students are prepared if and when the next one hits. This is a sound no student ever wants to hear, but that's what students at Glen Acres Elementary School heard at 11.15 a.m. An alarm signaling an earthquake, but students at Glen Acres Elementary School knew exactly what to do. Just as soon as they heard the sound, they went ahead and they dropped to the floor and then they got under their desks or their tables and then they just held on and they sat there perfectly quiet. I mean, they were very well prepared. Students have been practicing for the drill all week. Although many students are too young to remember the earthquake that Lafayette experienced in 2008, some teachers, like Megan Hatke, remember it firsthand. She says that's why it is important to practice these drills. It shows the kids that there is a reason to prepare for earthquakes, even though we don't live in California. Indiana still sits on top of the New Madrid fault line, which means earthquakes are possible. The more we have the children in school practice earthquake drills, the, the more they bring home to the parents who then can practice the earthquake drills, discuss with them their safety plans at home. Safety plans like taking cover under a sturdy structure. The ceiling tiles, the light fixtures, those are the things that would probably do the most damage to the, to the children during an earthquake. And as site operations engineer Wei Song shows in this earthquake simulator, the fixtures are what are falling and injuring the dolls, not the structure itself. But Adam says that if an earthquake happens while your family is at home, the same precautions still apply. If you are at home, follow the same rules. Drop, find good cover, and hold on. Elizabeth Rentschler, News Channel 18.